Hello, Mrs. Birdie here once again. Now today I'm going to take out the, the pads and remove the key corks. Today all we need is a torch and a needle spring or um, uh, anything will work. I use a hat pin and we're going to need our scraper. All right, place your needle inside the, the pad. Give it a little bit of pressure as you're um, heating up your key. One thing you want to be careful of when doing this is don't get your hands too close to the flame, of course. Be careful not to touch the key after you've replaced the pad. Also, you don't want to get your needles, get your fingers too close to the needle springs after you take out the, the pad because your needle spring also gets very hot. The music in the background that you're listening to is one of Mr. Birdie's band. It's a show band. They're performing in Oklahoma this weekend at, at a casino. Like I said, they're a show band. He plays saxophone in this group and um, flute, does backup vocals, and uh, plays bass on a couple of songs. They've got one set to where the bass player performs as Elvis, and so he plays bass during that time. Mr. Birdie's in several bands. He plays jazz bass. Also, he plays guitar in my gospel group and sings bass. Okay, I've just about have the pads removed. Now, I'm going to turn this off so that I don't get myself burnt. Okay, next step is removing the key corks. Okay, what we're going to do in our next little film clip is buff the keys. I'm going to have Mr. Birdie buff the keys for me. I can do it, but I'll let him do it for me. <laughs> let him do the dirty work. It doesn't take a lot of equipment to overhaul a clarinet, and we don't have any of the fancy equipment. Now, we've worked in some shops in the past where they had some really nice equipment, high dollar stuff. But it's not really necessary. You don't have to have all that. We keep our shop simple. We have low overhead, and that's why we can afford to overhaul these clarinets at the price that we do off of eBay. If you'd like to have one of your clarinets overhauled off of eBay, you can go to hornfixer.com and uh, we'll put in overhaul on eBay as we can fit them in. We try not to get ourselves too overloaded because we don't want you to be without your horn for too long a time. Okay, just about finished here. All right, this is Mrs. Birdie. Stay tuned for part uh, four, no, five. Buffing of the Keys. This is Mrs. Birdie signing out. Thanks for tuning us in and add us to your favorites.